Hello, I'm Dr. Porcel from the Plural Medicine Unit at the Arnaldo Villanova University Hospital in Lleida, Spain. I would like to take a couple of minutes to summarize this article which was recently published in Respirology concerning the potential diagnostic usefulness of a well-known immunocytochemical marker, epithelial cell adhesion molecule, EPCAN, as measured with a quantitative methodology on pleural fluid cell lysates. It is well known that pleural fluid cytology is not a sufficiently sensitive test for diagnosing malignant effusions, the reported yield being a maximum of 60%. EPCAN is a market that regularly integrates immunocytochemical panels to detect adenocarcinomatose cases in effusion samples. The research question was, can quantification of EPCAM on pleural fluid specimens, whether supernatants or lysates from cell pellets, improve the ability of immunocytochemical methods to discriminate between adenocarcinoma and benign pleural effusions? To answer this question, EPCAM was quantified using an ELISA kit on the pleural fluid supernatants and cell lysates of 175 pleural fluid samples, of which 123 were adenocarcinomas. Moreover, an immunocytochemical staining index score that included staining intensity and percentage of positive cells was also evaluated on pleural fluid cell blocks. Importantly, for malignant benign differentiation, 100 specific cutoff points were chosen to ensure that any benign fluid would appear below that limit. It was found that at 100% specific threshold values, measurement of EPCAR in fluid supernatants lacks sufficient sensitivity, but its quantification in cell lysates yielded 75% sensitivity. The latter ought to perform EPCAR immunostaining on cell blocks for identifying malignancy, respective areas under the curve of 0.94 and 0.87. Sensitivity reached 88% if EPCAN on cell lysates was combined with EPCAN immunostaining using an OR rule. Notably, one third or more of the malignant effusion exhibiting a false negative cytological fluid examination were correctly classified by EPCAN cell lysate concentrations. These results were reproduced in two independent validation samples of 73 and 48 patients with pleural effusions. To conclude, we have shown for the first time that the measurement of EPCAN or lysate of pleural fluid cell pellets is a new biomarker for adenocarcinomatose effusions with meaningful discriminating properties. It should be acknowledged, however, that EPCAN on cell lysates and EPCAN immunostainings are complementary tests which are able to diagnose 88% of malignant effusions, a percentage that significantly overcomes the sensitivity of pleural fluid cytology. Needless to say, as for any pleural fluid biomarker, the determination of EPCAN on cell lysates may support clinical decision but does not preclude obtaining a cytohistological confirmation. Thank you for your attendance.